Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to see a different video in our Hive series. We're going to see how to configure mailboxes size limit for all recipients in our environment. So let's get started. Without wasting time, we have been able to see in the previous series that how to create a user mailbox. Today, what we wanted to do via PowerShell is to change the mailbox size limits. So right now, if we wanted to do it one by one, we can do it by the queue, but there's no option for me right here to change this information for all of this user. So let's bring up our management shell right here. How do we do that? We go here and we click on the management shell. So before we do anything, I want us to get the list of the mailboxes so that you can see what information we have. So when we change them, we'll be able to see all the information. I'm going to put in or uh, put down below this uh, command for you so that you don't have to type it one by one. But the idea for you is just to to learn together. So what I'm doing here is getting the mailbox and I want to get the parameters that I want to see the information for, which is exactly the same thing that we see here in the mailbox option. This, this is what we wanted to customize for all of the user. So going back to the management shell, we see that we have to. So how do we set the uh, mailbox limit? So all you have to do is check the PowerShell command right there below and just copy and change that information and paste. So in my case, I wanted to lower the the value that I have for this mailbox for all of them. So I already set it to 2 gig and 2.5 and 1.75. So if I click on enter, we'll be able to see some warning right here, which I found out that, well, if you know why that is coming up, please let me know. But with that information, I'm able to change the quarter. So let me go ahead and get that information back. For example, this, I'm going to pipe this in again by clicking on up arrow on my computer twice. So I can now see the difference between these and this now. So that is actually how you change for all the mailboxes in your environments or the recipient mailboxes. Please, uh, maybe this is not done in production. I cannot tell because I don't, I'm not sure why you really wanted to change for all. I might be able to find a way to change for a specific group of people or user in the future, but I don't think you wanted to apply unless you really want everybody to have the same. That's why you're going to see, you're going to use this. So if you find this video useful and it actually helps you in your lab or in your production environment, or maybe you're just finding a way to, to configure the mailbox sizes limit for all your recipient, I think this is the best way to do it. If you have any question, you can throw in it there. We can go ahead and practice. Or if you wanted to see what is going to happen before you do that in your life environment, you can reach out to me and uh, we can make some practice. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, subscribe. If you are a returning user, I really appreciate you. You can go ahead and like the video and share. Thank you, and i see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.